periscope and whistings, please. Do a bit of a show and tell outside. So I've got to process this down a second. I've got the enforcer, which we like to call it Mike's knife. Should be able to see that. Detail work. I left that rounded up there, and I left this rounded in here. That allows changing grip, and then your thumb is right above where you want on detail work, right there. Because moving your hand out that way ends up it's quite balanced. But use a bit of a camp knife this one. There's a bit of dead wood. That's in force, that's in 52, 100. That's a beast of a sheet. Absolute monster. Okay, inky dinks. Works like magic. We call them early. That's a real sweet section there. Notching. Because it's got a constantly swept edge, power cuts just like that. My car scales. Got warm yellow liners on it. Moving up the size. Yo, man. So, a little bit thicker. Good job I've got two batteries in. So, battery yeoman. There you go. Pretty thick bit of stick. There he is. So, power cuts. You just cut cut crisps all day long. Not much of a 
chopper because it's, it's more of a detail. But what I wanted to do with that was have a, as full a handle as possible, despite the blade was quite small. It's more of a sort of a warden sort of knife or a yeah, wood carver knife. Again, swept the blade as much as possible to allow constantly having a fresh edge when you do cuts like that. See you, man. We got two of them. <laughs> okay. Dane lore. We're working on a treat with this, and we've got some nice stains on it from the the wood I've been whittling. My cart handle ever so dense it reminds me of that boosie I got from um, Funky. That just it's like slicing an apple. Everyone knows you can see the light, the sunlight through it. <laughs> Again. They'll be rounded to there with a square end for the ferro rod. So it allow you to put your thumb here in order to get some detail cuts along the end. But it's, it's, it's nice having a nice lean handle with my carter. I can have a slightly fuller handle using wood. Because the scales on board, I can allow myself a bit thicker, but I'm limited to the stock size for my car. Square cut on the end. Beautiful play. Slight dip at the top in the design to allow thumb and again shorten the distance from there to there to allow that amount but you know a tweak but you can actually turn the cut with the end for scallops and con cave and again there's two two thin cuts in there I mean that's just Ridiculous in there. That's the thane law. The sorry, dane law. Thane law is slightly smaller, be about that long, with a slightly more dropped end. The booty car is a, a fuller handle and it's all bulbous around here, so you've got a bigger back end. There's a sheath for the dane law. Lucky Jim. And say the handles are slightly fuller with wood because you know like the scales are slightly bigger. Touch of cleaning that will do on it. Just go on all day. That's cutting discs off the end of there. Perfect disc every time. Perfect disc every time. every single time. And we're talking. You know when they slice cucumbers on chef programs? Precision of it. It's just a leaner grind than the average bushcraft or lore type. Slightly leaner. 10 degrees of convex micro bevel. 
controlled crackers. Again, slightly rounded on the spine with a square edge, pretty really bark scraping. We're doing your ferro rod. And the sheaf you get looks a bit like that. New designs may come along. Don't know. What the heck. Right. Let's get going on the bruisers. Sheaf there. Oh yeah. Exclusive. The West Muck. Go down on the old uh, Logus Familiaris. So this, this is a more of a camp now. wheel chop. The design thing in this is, is the back of the handle. It allows you to crook a finger into there. More control on a slight amount of chopping that you've got to be doing with it. But the depth of the blade isn't much more than a, a Danelaw, Danelaw style, style knife because of this here. So once your thumb goes above There's your slice in there. And again, rounded to there, square at the end, so still allows you beautiful control cuts on this. But the option of being able to chop with it. I've left the blade swept at the end so you can actually do rock cuts for your food. That's in my car. Why do I get tube handles where it just gives you a little bit more grip and a chance for water to disappear out of the way. But that's well chuffed with this. Began really. It's the enforcer. Is that lump of wood gone? There it is. Slack it in a second. 